name is Brenna Maduro. And I'm Chanel Crasto. And we're grade 12 art students from, from Holy, Holy Cross, Cross Regional, Regional High School. I'm Adam Joseph Yuck. I'm a student of Holy Cross and a member of the Environment Club. Our school's Environment Club has planted two coral bark Japanese maple trees in front of the school in order to symbolize our commitment to the environment. Holy Cross is the pilot school for the City of Surrey's new waste removal program, Rethink. The program uses a tribe-in system in order to separate garbage products, recyclables, and organic materials. Every Monday, students gather recyclables at the cafeteria and organize them so that they can be sent to the return depot. In the past, Holy Cross has won money through BC Hydro. With that money, we were able to buy a water machine, which allows us to reduce the use of water bottles in our school. Through the WWF, our school has symbolically adopted a lot of animals. These animals include the giraffe, tiger, snow leopard, arctic fox, owl, elephant, monkey, panda, grizzly bear, bald eagle, turtle, blue shark, killer whale, and northern leopard frog. Every Earth Hour day, we encourage students to turn off lights at school, at home, or anywhere possible in order to reduce the use of unnecessary energy. Every year, students from our school participate in shoreline cleanups, which takes place at a local regional park, where students remove garbage from the swamps that people carelessly dump along the river. After the garbage has been collected, students gather them together so it could be picked up by the city of Surrey. Recently, our school had just built a new annex. Our vision for the future environment at Holy Cross is to create a garden around the new annex area along with picnic tables and benches for students to enjoy their lunch outside. This is also the area where we want our mural to be. Our vision for the mural design that we would like to create is to incorporate all we have done for our environment as a school community through the past and present along with illustrating how our environment would hopefully look like in the future as it is truly possible for humans to live in harmony with nature. Our idea for the mural is to have a tree with symbols along the branches and trunk representing the events we have done annually for our environment which we hope future generations will also take part in. We chose the tree as the focal point of our design because the tree not only is symbolic to the environment, it also symbolizes the unity of any community that is willing to make a change for their environment. For instance, due to everyone's equal efforts with their garbage sorting, recycling, and through the events students have participated in at Holy Cross, we have worked in unity as one, maintaining the use of garbage around our school campus. On the left side of the tree, we want to illustrate the different sorting bins of waste, recycling, and organics we have around our school, which symbolizes how everyone around the world can all do the same program, at home, in their own schools, or even at their own workplace as well, if they haven't done so yet, to maintain waste reduction in their own community. On the right side of the tree, we want to illustrate a bicycle that is parked, symbolizing how humans can find other ways of transportation, by carpooling, taking transit, riding their bike, or even going for a walk to reduce the use of vehicle emissions in our world today. To add on to the design, we are also putting in two students, a boy and a girl, looking up at the tree because the location of where we want the mural to be is facing an elementary school. With this mural, we would like to inspire and encourage kids from the elementary school to take action to help our environment in any way they can as they look up to us high school students making a change for our environment. And hopefully, they'll be the ones carrying that same motivation into Holy Cross as they enter high school. And lastly, we want to incorporate the symbolic animals that we have adopted through the WWF. We would like the animals to be looking up at the tree as well, just like the two students as it represents how it's truly possible to have humans living in harmony with nature. As our goal as human beings is to protect our environment by being stewards of the earth that animals and also ourselves live in. With that being said, 
We would like to transform a wall outside at the site of our school into a mural which would represent our school's commitment to our environment. The location of where we want the mural to be faces the elementary school across from us, which also leads to our school's new attics where we plan to create a garden and picnic area somewhere down in the future. At the same location, this is where we also gather our recycling collections, which takes place every Monday, which all gets picked up and brought to the Return It Depot.